Tee that are ye. David Cahill, David, you were in you were in I Dublin do. you were in Dublin City Centre yesterday. What did, was, what Joe, did you uh, see or not see? Well, I, I I just want to reiterate uh, what your your caller has said there. Um, like I was absolutely astonished yesterday when I went to the city centre. Now I rarely go in because it's just not a safe place to be. It's not a nice city centre to be in anymore, from what I see, especially since COVID. But I watched um, from Talbot Street, Amy, um, Amy Street, Talbot Street, North Earl Street, O'Connell Street, Parnell Street. I was around town for around an hour and a half, two hours, and walked back that similar route, and I did not see one guard at the whole time. Now I was deliberately looking out to see if I could yeah, notice. Yeah, but, but David, a did you see menace? I did. I have to be honest with you. Well, explain. Well, well, describe that to me, so please. Well, I mean, walking down Talbot Street, for example, um, and I haven't been in in months and months deliberately because it's just not a safe place to be. But walking down Talbot Street, the first image I had was of a guy sitting uh, on a bench uh, drinking. Then the next image what, was. Now, what's, uh, what time are we talking about? Um, I would say around twelve o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Eleven, twelve o'clock. The next image was of two sleeping bags. I think there was a guy in the sleeping bag, but I just am not okay. sure. And that, that was just strewn, strewn across the footpath. You pretty much had to go around it. Then I walked on another 100 metres uh, before you get to the, the junction of Gardner Street. And there was three young fellas. And like they were, you know, late teens, from what I could see. One was on a bicycle, in the hoodies. They were just leaning against the wall. And I mean, anybody that was going to walk by them, you couldn't but notice them and think, right, well, Jesus, what are these fellas up to? Because they didn't look like they were there t- to help anyone. Um, they looked like they were up to a good, in my opinion. And then walking on down to Talbot Street, onto North Earl Street, and I said, OK, I haven't seen a guard at that whole direction. Surely I'll see a guard on O'Connell Street. At the GPR, at the Spire. Yeah, I, I was really shocked because after what's happened over the last number of weeks and months. Well, there's a guard, um, well, you know, there's a, hang on, there, there was a guard, there's a guard station on uh, O'Connell Street up towards the Gresham. Where is that gone? Uh, and f- funny enough, uh, it's still down, there. Cause that's some, when, I, when I was walking down the street, I looked across at it and it's it's got some sign saying the guard for tourists or something along that line. And I said to myself, what a waste of time that is and a waste of money when there's no presence.